Hey everyone, the name is Eric Dor and today I want to talk about creative types. Why are creative types often considered crazy by the rest of society? Why is creativity truly so rare? These are some of the questions that we want to discuss in today's video. Now, the first thing I want to show is that creativity is actually a lot more rare than what people think. Most people would say that, oh, having ideas is being creative, but I'd say that's not enough to be a creative type. A truly creative type is somebody that applies their ideas into the real world. And so what you'll see is the creative types, they have write, they direct, they make music, they come up with or draw or make art, you know, and the question is how many people do you know that have and make and write and make music or make art or write plays or engage in creative expression? Actually, when you think about it, it's not that many people that engage in and do these things consistently. So what I'm finding is creativity is quite a misunderstood personality trait. So a lot of people would associate creativity with the right brain. So there's an idea in neuroscience uh, that there is a left brain and a right brain. And okay, first and foremost, let's be real. This is a simplification of how the brain really works. It's not really that clear cut. But what you can say is that the left brain tends to mark out consciousness, labels, definitions, structure, order, organization. In the left side of the brain, everything makes sense. And in the right side of the brain, things are a little bit more messy. So the idea is that people that are creative use the right side of the brain more. And I'd say that's actually not completely correct. What I've found is that there are three worlds a person can live in. One is the real world, and that's, you know, the world of the average nine to five worker. You know, you have a steady routine, a fixed job that you've had for the last few years or for a longer time. You've taken a fairly linear path in life, getting an education and getting a job and then getting a family. You know, that's the average uh, life of a person who lives the root of the left brain. Things are predictable, consistent and structured. And in this world, things make sense and things are easy and things are clear cut. Then you have this society of people that would rather be known as dreamers. Dreamers are people that tend to live in another world. They tend to find themselves constantly struggling to survive in the real world. They find it hard to uh, deal with and get a normal steady job. They find it hard to live in a consistent life. They find themselves often daydreaming about the future or romanticizing the past. They live in stories or in books or in watching movies. And that becomes their real world, that becomes their life. These kind of stories or video games or things like that take over and become an addiction and become something that they completely lose themselves in. Now the creative types lives in neither of these two worlds. If you could say that in the left world you have people that are awake and in the right world you have people that are dreaming, the creative type lives in that space between those two worlds. And so you could say that the creative type is the wake dreamer, the person that is dreaming while awake, dreaming while conscious. The creative type engages the what Carl Jung would call the transcendental function. And so they engage with symbols and stories and myths and legends and dreams. And then they apply those kind of things into the real world. To the creative type, synchronicities, coincidences have meaning and there are patterns that are constantly unfolding. The creative type sees a fixed world, a awake, real reality, but also sees how this world is constantly changing and is constantly in flux. And so, to the creative type, the real world is a little bit more messy. And so you get people that have things like dyslexia, people that struggle with ADHD, people that struggle with messy brain syndrome, where they mix things up, they lose things, they are uncertain of where things were, they forget things, they can't remember lyrics, you know. Uh, the creative type struggles to live completely in either of these two worlds, struggles to be attentive and present, but also struggles to make sense of what's dream and what is reality. And so for the creative type, these two worlds tend to exist in a parallel space, and there are connections between these two places that kind of make the creative type truly creative. And this is also why creative types are sometimes associated with being a bit crazy, because they don't live the way you're supposed to. They don't walk the path you're supposed to. They don't take the straight education route. They change things up. They can't stick to a certain path. They keep trying new things. They keep experimenting. How they engage in tasks is often the wrong or different way than what you are known to see. Similarly, you know that creative types are not like the dreamers. 
they don't tend to find themselves stuck in that world of dreams. They don't tend to lose themselves completely in that uh, state of uh, consuming information or uh, pure reading or the escape into a fantasy. The creative type seems to be intent to realize and to manifest their dreams in the real world and seems to constantly be preoccupied with this project of turning their ideas and impressions to reality. And rather than to think of uh, stories and music as truly just music or truly just a story, the creative type seems to apply real meaning to stories, believing that stories represent and connect to real life issues and to personal events. It seems that the creative type has learned to integrate the right and left brain side together and to use both of them. And that is truly what makes creativity possible. But the difficulty of managing these two worlds and combining them together can create for a messy person, a person that's uncertain about their identity. What is my gender? Who am I? You know, like these are kind of questions that can become real problems for creative types because in that state between the dreaming world and the wake world, they can completely lose themselves and lose touch with who they are. They can find it hard to organize and put themselves in a definition or label. They can find it hard to adjust to and stay within a structure or folder. So the creative types, they struggle, but they also amount to do amazing and original things. And that's truly, truly rare and hard. What are your thoughts on creativity and what are your impressions on creative types? And what is the source of your creativity? Where does it come from? And how do you manage the difficulties of telling apart the dream from the reality. Thank you for watching and see you all in the next video.